Hi, what's up everyone? So today we're gonna take a look and see how you can take a screenshot on the 2018 iPad Pros. The reason why I want to make this video is because the new iPad Pro has a brand new design and something is missing. The home button is gone. Before, you will be taking a screenshot by pressing onto the home button and the power button together to capture the screen. But now the home button is gone, what can we do? Let's find out. With the new iPad Pro, if you want to take a screenshot, or let's say if you're browsing the internet and you run into these all cute puppy pictures and you want to capture the screen, right? All you need to do is to press onto the power button and also volume up button, not volume down, because if you press onto the volume down button, it will just turn off the screen. So let's try it. So I'm going to press onto these buttons together and it will capture the screenshot into my camera roll. So now that photo is saved. Another thing you can utilize the screen capture feature is Let's say if you're inside a Maps app and you want to look for a location, you want to share it with your friends and family, you can do the same gesture, power button and volume button to capture the screen. And when this screenshot is here, we're going to tap onto it. We're now inside the markup feature. What you can do right now, it's either using your Apple Pencil or your finger to draw on the map. So if I want to, let's say, mark up this location right here i can use my pencil or you, i can use my finger to draw the picture will be saved with the drawing what i can do is i can tap onto done and hit on save to photos or i can tap onto this share button at the top right corner to share it directly with my friends and family another way to capture a screenshot on an ipad pro or any other ipads or iphones is to have this assistive touch feature right here. I know it's an accessibility feature, but you can actually create a lot of cool shortcuts where you can do a lot of cool things within your iPad without going into the menu directly. So for example, if I want to capture a screenshot, I have it on the first menu of my assistive touch. It's at the bottom left corner. If I want to capture the screen, all I need to do is to press onto this button and there you go. I don't even have to figure out with like power and volume up buttons together. It's now saved. That's it. That's how you do it. It's really easy, right? Thanks for watching Tech Tip Tuesday. If you want more contents like this, subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, click the like button and share it with your friends and family. Enjoy your tech and I'll see you next time.